creating content at scale has never been easier. So I've been super busy with creating content because that's actually a lie. I've been playing video games. World of Warcraft, the new expansion came out and I decided to pre-do all my content for the last week or for actually for the last couple of weeks and it's just blown up my channel. So I actually started probably right around here and if you look at my growth, uh, 100% in the last 90 days and it's actually been quite more than that. If we just look at my view count, it's around 200 a day. Now I'm getting closer to 1,000 a day. Uh, so to go from 200, like on average, I would say 150 to like average 1,500, that's like a thousand percent increase. So where they got 124 is beyond me. Same thing with watch time. My channel has been exploding. Uh, and as far as subscribers, same thing here. I've been getting consistently more subscribers with some spikes uh, of 100 or with 46 from people sharing my content, which was pretty nice. Um, but typically I was around one to zero to negative and now I'm averaging at least on average maybe five a day, which is quite nice to see. And my income from the channel has gone from anywhere from a dollar a day to about five dollars a day. Uh, I would say three to four dollars a day. So about a 300% increase. So I'm going to share you my strategy on what I've been doing to get these results. Sure, it's not amazing, but it's better than what it was. So if we go to my content, my shorts uh, are hit or miss. I mean, if we look at the public post, zero, five, six, but then I do get ones that are 200. Um, and I think that I had a lot of them that were in the 400 and the 500, 500 range. And I'm not shooting for high production here. I'm really just shooting for uh, more of a shotgun approach. I am trying to put out as much content as quickly as possible to build up that following. And I'm gonna tell you why. Is you're competing with these large channels that have multiple channels. I mean, you have Boydzilla. And I mean, obviously they all are in different niches. I mean, this is one's in uh, scammers. This is in gaming. You have Osman Gold, Osman Gold TV. Uh, you have Mr. Beast with uh, his channels. Um, I picked the wrong one, here it is. Mr. Beast with his channels from Mr. Beast Gaming, Beast 2 with uh, 45 million subscribers, 45 million, 60, 26 million subscribers. So lots of large channels. Number two is there's much a higher asymmetrical risk with going and producing more content. And I'm gonna show you how to produce more content here in a second and how I've been doing it with very little time because um, one, it's been benefiting my channel quite a bit, but two, there's no downside. And if you're not, and I'm gonna tell you why I believe in not putting in a lot of production value into your content uh, until you get to maybe 10, even I would say probably even closer to 50,000 subscribers. So, um, and so the asymmetrical risk, there's a much higher upside to produce much greater content and doing a shotgun approach than there is with uh, doing this carefully calculated, like, perfect video, uh, I think that your chances of having more shots are gonna be outweigh the trying to get one perfect video done right. So like I said, I've been grinding hard on the World of Warcraft. I'm actually, I was actually 93, I think. Um, I've kind of fucked up my character and I can't progress. I should be much higher. Um, but I am rank number four in the world uh, realm and 104 in the world for druids on gear score. So that means that the, the, the level of my, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get into how I've been actually doing all these, this content. So <clears throat> I've had my old videos that I uh, would take that are like from my podcast. Let's say I take podcast um, and I can take one of these videos, maximizing your podcast profits making money with the secret weapon. So I can grab one of these videos, let's say maybe an older one, and uh, not under shorts actually, 
And uh, let's see, scroll down. Probably one of these, how to, um, I've already did all these. So I'd probably just, I'm just gonna grab one just to show you. Get a shareable link, go to Opus, paste that bad boy in here. And then I can click this and get all of the different links. So cut it up into different sections. I can use clip anything. I can use their don't clip or I can use AI. And what it does is, let me just give you, to go back to this, this tool is called Opus Pro. I actually have a link in the description if you want the link for it so you can easily find it. You can see that it gave me a score on what all my content would, based off of what it sees, like what AI sees. And so does it do well? I don't know, uh, it's, yeah. it, who's to say? I like to kind of read the, the transcript and then take a certain part that I'm like, oh yeah, that would be pretty good. Um, and paste that. Um, so there's a little bit of editing and then from there, all you have to do is you can schedule it. So schedule it right here, click on this. I can schedule it to my YouTube, TikTok and Facebook. I can have all my, all the AI already wrote down all the titles in this. I like to change it a little bit here um, if I want with different maybe hashtags and then paste it. So there you go. That's how, and I just go through these and I paste them every single day. And so we look at this calendar. I've been posting pretty much every day. So I, today, the 29th, uh, is gonna be posting at 7 p.m., 11 a.m., uh, 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m. And then same thing with tomorrow. I do need to add uh, a 7 a.m. and a 7 a.m. on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then I will be adding for the next month because I need to catch up with uh, the month ahead. And But if we look at the stats here, over the last, uh, let's see, the last 30 days, I don't know if it'll apply yet. Last uh, 30 days, we have, it seems like it's been stagnant, but really it's been, oh, right here, 50, 518% uh, from the last 30 days, 200% uh, in the last uh, 30 days, 296 in the last 30 days. So uh, definitely getting much better results. So my goal for like the last 90 days was to uh, pretty much set up myself so that I could play this video game and free up my time. And so what I did was took old podcasts and turned them into short clips and put them into my uh, shorts. I scheduled them all out. And then every, uh, every couple days, I would do three or four videos uh, in the mornings and the evenings of little how-to guides. And uh, on tools I've been using or uh, playlists on how to use a particular tool step-by-step. -step. And that has been helping me tremendously with growing my content. And so to kind of, in summary, I would say that when you're, for me personally, I think that since now it's so easy to produce so much content so quickly and that people have teams that are able to create high quality content, when you're starting out, me starting out personally, uh, I would, I'm producing as much content as possible to get me to a point of make sense to hire out a team to then take that qual that content to a higher quality. Because then you already can do it at scale. Now you just need the funds to support at scale with quality. And so if you, scale is easy today. Um, quality and keeping eyes on you is, is attention is the hard thing. And so you can still get uh, you can still get small like bits and pieces I think here and there uh, with producing at scale, but that will allow you to grow. And then from there, ultimately you can reinvest in quality. I think that previously it was quality and then scale, but the the ability to scale is so uh, inexpensive to today that you're able to scale much uh, easier. Uh, and get views, but then you're paying it to uh, have the quality there where you can then scale it from there. So that's my take. Let me know what you guys think in the description down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.